everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, I will be very grateful. Thank you. This is my second vlog ever and I am showing you even more of my everyday life. I wanted to show you what I've done during October and the beginning of November, give you a little peek in my real life. We had my husband's birthday recently, we had my birthday recently, we really had lots of fun during weekends, we went to an art exhibition and to wine tasting to some beautiful restaurants, so I wanted to also include lots of autumn vibe and cozy mood in this video, also I included a warm nice cozy autumn recipe I was cooking together with you in this video and I really hope that you enjoy, thank you! tired I have just come back home after a long day I am resting here with my fur baby and today I managed to buy a part of the birthday present for my husband and I'm very satisfied with it also I have all the ingredients for his birthday cake I'm going to bake tomorrow I will show you how I'm going to do everything and my furry kitty went to eat urgently <laughs> so uh, the plans for tonight are some uh, fried shrimps and just resting maybe a bit of work and finishing a movie on netflix we have started it recently it's called the last letter from your lover uh, and apparently it's a very good movie the all the actors are great there and we haven't finished it yet, but I really liked it and I want to finish it tonight. special day for us today is my husband's birthday and we're going to celebrate together at home tonight i'm going to prepare dinner for us i'm going to prepare my husband's favorite meal this is oven baked potatoes with cheese and butter we're going to watch some movie also to enjoy the cake that i baked for him yesterday and just to have some very nice family time also i wanted to show you what kind of gift I prepared for him. This is not a fashion related gift. This is not clothes or shoes. We have bought tons of that stuff in Italy during our summer trip. So this is a gift connected to my husband's hobby. He loves fishing and he really likes spending time in nature during 
fishing days and this is something that he actually wanted for himself but he didn't expect that i would give it to him today so this is this little thing has gas inside then this is a stove i'm not going to unbox it because i don't know how it works this is a stove that you put on top of gas and then you have fire so you can prepare your meals on top of it you can fry uh, meat for burgers or fry whatever you want in the pan boil a soup or whatever and i also got a little thing for coffee like, like this so he can prepare his hot coffee out there in the nature and enjoy it hot and freshly prepared i think he's going to really like it during his fishing days out there so i'm about to go finish my work and start preparing dinner for tonight Today is another beautiful sunny autumn day here in Kiev and I felt like it is exactly the time to prepare some really warming delicious autumn meal. Um, when I was thinking what kind of meal it could be, uh, creamy soups got inside of my mind and I felt that this would be exactly what, I, what I'm feeling like at the moment. And well, autumn creamy soup, obviously you'll think about the pumpkin soup, but it won't be a pumpkin soup. I'm not a fan of pumpkins. I think they are too sweet for me. I tried pumpkin spice latte once uh, in Starbucks and I felt that it was so sweet I couldn't even finish it. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm not a fan of this one, but the soup we'll go, we're going to make today is an autumn kind of soup as well. It is a creamy carrot soup. Well, it doesn't sound very exciting, but trust me, when you prepare it, it is absolutely delicious and it's full of flavors. You'll see. So to start with, I will be getting my carrots and my garlic out of the fridge. Also, you can have onion inside of this soup if you like onions, but I don't like onions, so no onions for me. So what I have here are some, sorry, they are in dessert because these are... My cat thinks that this is delicious. Uh, so <laughs> this is a carrot from the kitchen garden of my grandmother. That's why it looks like a real carrot full of dirt. I'm going to clean them right now and peel them to make them all nice and ready to be chopped for our soup. Okay, so I just want to quickly go over the things that I have done here in the kitchen. So you saw that I had my carrots out. They were dirty. I cleaned them. I have peeled them. I also chop them into pieces. You don't need to care about the shape of the pieces that you chop them into. They don't need to be perfect. They are going to be mashed anyway. I also got the garlic. I had one um, clove and a half of the garlic. If you love garlic, take three cloves. And then I had my pan on. I also, I also prepared the vegetable broth. I had one liter of vegetable broth here in this pan and I was ready to go. I had my pan, I took water, uh, 
Here I have the butter that I took. I used 50 grams of butter. If this is um, heavy butter, 82 and 5 percent. So I took my butter 50 grams together with the, the, those garlic cloves all mashed together in the pan, medium heat. Then I added my spices. So for the spices, I took curry. Uh, I had half a teaspoon. You can be like almost a full teaspoon of curry if you love curry. After I added half a teaspoon of paprika here, and then I added garlic powder. I really like combining real garlic with garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder here and some black pepper, just a little bit for the flavors. Mix it all up together in the pan, then added my chopped carrots, mix it up, and then my vegetable broth was inside and the soup is there. Once it is boiling, you put it on medium heat. So first you put it on medium heat, you mix all the spices, then the, once the vegetable broth is inside, you put the heat higher, then it boils, then it go, you put it on medium again and leave it for around 20 minutes. You wait for the carrots to be, you know, soft, so they are ready to get into the blender and be mashed. So while my soup is simmering over here, I'm just getting ready for it to be done. I wanted to speak about something else because I have just remembered that I wanted to put on a kettle to boil for the tea. And well, tea is such an important part of autumn, so I had to speak about it. And well, I'm a fan of tea. Tea is just an absolute must for me during autumn season. I drink tea during all of the seasons, but in autumn it is especially warming and it's making me feel cozy and inspired even. Some days I'm more for green tea, some days I'm more into black teas, but anyway, this drink is always lifting up my spirits and it's making me feel cozy. Here are the autumn teas that I drink right now a lot. So to start with, I'll start with them best calming ones these are her herbal teas so the first one is the tea which makes me go to sleep all the time if i want to get really relaxed and sleep well this is the tea i go for so this is a clipper brand tea this uh, tea goes in little uh, tea bags like this and it is a herbal tea uh, consisting of melissa uh, lavanda and chamomile it is very relaxing and it makes me sleep just every time I drink it there is something magical about it I love this tea uh, I usually bring it from France uh, but I think they sell it everywhere around Europe and around the world so here is another tea which is made for relaxing moments and for sleepy times you know it's called sleepy time decaf is by Celestial Seasonings brand. Uh, at first it caught my attention because of the cute teddy bear on the packaging, but when I tried it, I understood that it is very, very calming. It makes you feel relaxed and sleepy, but at the same time, I really, really like the taste. It's not a harsh taste of uh, lavanda, but, uh, but it's more of, you know, a more subtle taste. This one, it's a mix of lemon and jasmine, and it's a green tea, but it's decaffeinated, so it's very, very calming kind of tea. Uh, this one uh, I have bought both in supermarkets around Europe, but I also ordered it from iHerb. So next I have here my kind of luxury teas, you know, I consider them to be a little bit of a luxury because they are way more expensive than other teas. Each of these costs around 16 euro, while this one is like two and a half euro. But I just can't resist. I feel that they are very, very special and delicious and high quality. And from time to time, I really, really enjoy drinking this tea. So here I have Marco Polo tea and Ma green Marco Polo tea. Both are by Maria Schwer brand. Maria Schwer is a French tea brand, which is very old. It's from 1854, written here on the um, box. and. Once you get in the shop of Maria Schwer, you get completely lost because there are so many delicious teas that are out there. You just you just can't choose, you know, and they are all very special and delicious. So uh, the Marco Polo, the regular one, is the marvelous fruity and flowery black tea. 
and the green Marco Polo is fruity, flowery, mellow green tea. Well, they are very similar, just green and black, depending which mood you are into uh, that day, and they are just really, really delicious, and you know, this tea is completely worth the money. But I don't drink it every day. I feel like it wouldn't be so special to me if I was drinking it every day. I like mixing it up with different teas. And the last thing I wanted to mention is uh, black Earl Grey tea. Uh, you can buy it from any brand that you like. I think that you should choose the brand that suits you most. I don't even remember which brand I have here in my box of Earl Grey. But the smell is amazing and I think Earl Grey tea really suits autumn and winter season and some days I'm, you know, I'm into Earl Grey mood today and it's just making me feel very, very cozy and nice. So my soup has been simmering for around 20 to 23 minutes. I just uh, touched the carrots and they are soft and I feel that they are all ready to get into the blender. So I'm going to pour all of my soup inside of the blender that I have here. My soup is inside of the blender and I'm going to turn it on and just mix it till it becomes a puree. My creamy carrot soup is ready here in the pot. As you saw, I mashed everything inside of the blender. Then I put it back inside of this pot and then what I did is I took some of my cream that I had at home. This cream is not very heavy, it is just 10% cream. If you add uh, cream which is heavier, it is just going to be better. So add whatever you like. I added not the whole packet. This one uh, is uh, 200 grams. I think I added around 100 grams of cream in here inside of the soup. And here it's ready. It's ready for me to eat.